Doctor Who, the Colony in Space, Episode 6. The entrance of the city starts to scrape open. The master looks up. The doctor kicks out, kicks the first pocket watch from the laser gun out of his hands. Crows is around him. An alien comes out of the city. They are taken aside at spear point. The master's TARDIS. Joe's shouting cannot be heard outside the tube. Cadwell tries various controls on the console. Cadwell, oh, it's no use. I can't see. Just a minute. Cadwell pulls Joe's uh, shoes open. She falls out, coughing. Morgan, where's the adjudicator? Joe, he's not the adjudicator. He's a fake. Morgan, we know that. Where is he? Cadwell, well, t- go on. come on, take it easy. Where could he be? Have got to, do you know? Joe, he went with the doctor. Morgan, where? Joe, to the primitive city. Primitive city archive room. Master, are you the leader of these people? I can come to help you. The smaller alien turns and looks at the master. Master, why doesn't he answer? Doctor, they don't speak. They're telepathic. The alien leaves. The doctor door closes. Master, oh wait, what is this place? Doctor, well, it looks like some sort of lumber room. Take a look at this freeze here. I think it might be of interest you. Master, yes. Doctor, it's some sort of chronicle of their history, showing that their science has deteriorated in somewhat primitive religion. Dome entry area. Joe, a master sort of super super friend one. He can travel in time and space. He's a, he then enters Cadwell. I'm afraid I can't help you. Then I can stand. You've been to this primitive city. Joe, yes, we only just got out alive. Morgan, she had told me how to get there. I could take some men and hunt them down. Then no, you need it you need it here. I'd send a squad after them. Once we got rid of the, these people, things are going up too slowly. Get them moving. Cadwell, what about those girls? Then she goes with the colonists. Joe, look, I'm not a colonist. I've got to find a doctor. Then put her with the rest. Gent leaves. Joe, you must leave, please. You must help me, please. Okay, well, you heard what the jo- Captain Dent said. Get on that ship. Joe, we've got to find the master and stop him. For everyone's sake, Cadwell. There's nothing I can do. Joe, let me go. Find a doctor. He may be able to stop him. Morgan, Cadwell, you were told to put her on the, sh- on the ship. Cadwell, very all right. Morgan, all right. Morgan Cadwell, you are still under my discipline, even if you have ever an engineer. Do you now you remember that, Cadwell? How could you how could how could forget it? Who could forget it? Come on, you Joe, oh please, Cadwell. You may mean you give me enough trouble. Now go on that ship when you're told. Outside the main dome. Joe, please listen to me, Cadwell. Get under there. Quick move before I change my mind. Joe gets underneath the silver tarpaulin in the back of a buggy. Primitive city arcade room. Master, the absolute fasc- that's absolutely fascinating. Old story is here, Doctor, is it? Well, perhaps you'd be kind enough to explain it to me. Master, well, this city was once the centre of great civilization. Doctor, yes, I had gathered that. Master, by genetic engineering and developed a super race. That priest you saw must have been a remnant of it. Doctor, you deduced that, all that from these pictures? Master, well, not exactly. I knew it already. If I was the Time Lords, a very coincidence. Doctor, oh, so that's more like it. You mean you stole the information? Master, well, it seemed an awful pity not to make short use of it, you know. But of course, that's typical of the High Council, the High Time Lords. Know everything, do nothing. Doctor, tell me, why are you so interested in the history of this planet? Master, well, this civil race developed a doomsday weapon. It never used. Doctor, why not? Super weapons usually are eventually. Doctor, who knows? Maybe it was due to regeneration. A lifespan, do I see? And so the civil race become priests of lunatic religion, worshiping machines instead of gods. Mother, so it would seem. Doctor Rail, may I remind you that religion embraces sacrifice, and we are destined victims. A disposed possession is approaching, Doctor. You're going to use this weapon? Master, not unless it's absolutely necessary. Well, don't you see, Doctor? Very fed of it could use. It could use, could. It use could hold. The galaxy to ransom, Doctor. I think you might let it trifle late. Master, Doctor. Master, Doctor, you underestimate me. The master holds up a ice grenade and gas mask. Doctor, what about me? Master, try holding your breath. There's a little alien priest. Jesses with its staff. Then walks towards the Doctor. The master throws a grenade to the floor. Printed it collapses. Master, Doctor, take this, make an escape. Dome entry level. Mary ticking names off a clipboard. A clipboard. Morgan, is that the last of them? Mary, yes. They're all aboard now. Morgan, that troublemaker Winton? Mary, well, 
Morgan, you tripped him off. They didn't see him. Mary, he'd been on board some time, trying to get the engines working properly. Dent, Morgan? Where's Cadwell? Morgan? Well, he's keeping out of the way in case you just see he'll see anything unpleasant. Dent, he'll be right he'll be all he's all right he's be all right once he's got rid of these people. Ash enters. Ash, Mary? Dent ready to go. Ash is sending up us to our deaths. Dent no nonsense. My engineer checked what your spaceship. It's down enough, Ash. How are you going to explain it to the Earth government if anything happens to us? Dent, there'll be no explanation. Once you're off this planet, you're no longer my concern. Ash, I think you're forgetting one thing, Captain Dent. Dent, really? I am the only qualified space pilot left in this colony. Suppose I refuse to blast off. Dent, then you can sit in your ship till you rot. Try to get out, and you'll be shot on the spot. Ash and Mary Lee, Bilgan. Suppose we try to get out. Dent put a man with a communicator and he will overlook in the dome. If they try to leave that ship, you can call up the security squad. Morgan, very well. Primitive city. Doctor, which way do we go now? The master consults a map. Just as forward. Master, wait, doctor. Master compares. A wall making on it, walking to his work. Master, yes, we're very near to our goal now. We'll soon be the most powerful weapon. We'll most soon see the most powerful weapon ever created. Our circumference rocket. The final cases of supplies are being dragged from board. Morgan, is everyone aboard? Ash, yes. Morgan, very well. Start your final checkup. Ash closes the hatch. Morgan, take the buggy back, back to the ship. Dome entry area. Dent rips the crop chart off the notice board. Dent rips the ch- crop chart off the notice board. Morgan, you just started final checkup. Dent, have the guards been posted? Morgan, yes. The other guards have returned to the ship. Dent, we better get back just in case. Then the Lindman Logan leaves, and Minton comes out of the building hiding as the gantry. Acradius on the ICM guard is watching the dome, the Connors rocket with binoculars, Dent OC. Captain Dent to security, Colonel Guard Rogers. Captain Dent to control security guard Rogers. Rogers receiving you, sir. Dent OC, what's happening there? Rogers, not a thing, sir. Control room, Dent. No attempts to leave this ship. Rogers, no. OC, no, sir. Dent. If anything happens, anything at all, I want to know at once, Captain Dent, out. Rogers in a tent on a spaceship that he doesn't notice. So intent on a spaceship he doesn't notice which Winton creeping up behind him too, too late. Winton lands a good punch and they wrestle to the world below play. The train punches and Winton tries to down Rogers a couple of times but he finally knocks him out. Morgan, shall I call up the guard again? Dent, yes, no. Can you get the college ship on the video link? Morgan, I'll try. The video link shows the close-up. Ash wearing a headset. Morgan, the best I can do, I'm afraid. The equipment a bit ropey. Dent, Ash, are you receiving me? Captain Dent speaking. Ash, I'm Ruski. Yes, I'm receiving you. Dent, what's the display? What's the delay? Ash and Ruski. Electrical fault on our life support system. We're repairing it now. Dent, how much longer? Ash on Ruski. Did he fix? We'll start counting in a few second moments. Dent, very excellent. Well, goodbye, Ash. Morgan, do you think he means it? Dent, what else can he do? Ukrainius, Cadwell and Joe drive up the buggy, the boulder, abandoned by up the boulder, boulder, abandoned by the do- master doctor. Joe, do you think they're hurt? Cadwell, they must have been thrown clear. Joe, all else had gone ahead of foot. Colonist spaceship lifts off. Cadwell is a colonist spaceship. They made it. Kaboom. Joe, all those people, Cadwell. And I told them the murders were all right. Guardian's room. Master, well, eat, Doctor. This is it. Doctor, is it? Well, where is this super weapon of yours? Master, we're in the heart of it. It stretches for miles all around us. Look, let me try to explain how it works. Master puts his map down on the console. Large circular binnacle on the centre. Master, yes. Presses the control. And the picture rises to show and view of the galaxy. It zooms in the star. Master, look. That, do- that Doctor, is the sun that gives life to the planet Earth, holding such affection. Do I know a little basic astronomy? Master, then you'll know. And one day the sun will burn from its core and explode. Do it's about 10,000 million years. Time, yes. Master, well, there's this weapon. I can make that happen now. Doctor, that's unbelievable. Master, you know the crab nebula? Doctor, the cloud of cosmic matter that was once a star, of course. Master, that was a result of the super race testing this weapon. 
outside the premises thirty. Joe, well, was it? Cadwell, how did you get it? How did we get in? Joe, I don't know. The doctor and I have taken in. There must be some way of opening it. Cadwell beats me. I have to find another entrance. The door opens. Joe, look. Cadwell hides as the perimeter comes out. Walks with sight towards Joe. Cadwell hits him over the head. They get inside the city before the door closes again. Perimeter city. Joe, think it's this way. Let's try. Garden's room. Doctor. So you intend to hold the universe to ransom? Master, Doctor, why did you come in with me? We're both Time Lords. We're both renegades. We could be masters of the galaxy. Think of it, Doctor. Absolute power. Power for good. Why? We well, could reign benevolently. We could end wars, suffering, and disease. We could save the universe. Mark, Doctor, no absolute power is evil. Master, consider carefully, Doctor. I'm offering you a half share of the universe. Primitive city. Kettle well? Joe, I don't know. Okay, well, we're lost. But Joe, yes. Ash's office. Dent, Dent, Morgan's here. Where's Kedwell? None of the other miners have seen him. Morgan, the element of the guards saw him leaving the dome in the space buggy. He's heading for Primitive City. Dent, take the squad and get after him. Morgan, he's worth, is he worth the trouble? Dent, Kedwell's a million expert. Don't you forget it. We don't, can't do it without him. Dent, the only one we need is Morgan, what about the doctor and fake adjudicator? Dent, the only one we need is Kedwell. Morgan, there will be trouble about those colonists, you know, Dent. We offered to check their ship, make sure it's safe. They refused our help. It's all over with my port, Morgan, of course. Garden's room, master. You must see a reason, doctor. Doctor, no, I will not join you in absurd dreams of galactic conquest. Master, why? Why? Look at this. Look at all these planetary systems, doctor. We could rule them all. Doctor, what for? What's the point? Master, the point is that we must rule or serve. As a basic law of life. Do you know why you hesitate, Doctor? Surely you have got loyalty to Time Lords. But outside you and it's not like one insignificant planet. Doctor, you never understand, will you? I want to see the universe, not rule it. Master, then I'm very sorry, Doctor. Master, I his laser gun at a Doctor. Guardians where I know rises. Master, what's happening? Doctor, wait well, and see the Guardian's throne comes out the wall. Master, what is it? Doctor, the ultimate development of life on this planet. Guardian, why have you returned? What do you want here? Master, I want to restore this city to the planet to form the uh, form of the law. Doctor, don't listen to him, sir. Master, to have a wonderful weapon. Why you could you could bring good and peace to every world and galaxy? Mark, Doctor, contrary, to bring only death and destruction. Master, this planet for yours could be the centre of a mighty empire. Fire, the greatest that cosmos ever must have known. Doctor, tell me, sir, why has this weapon of yours ever good to your planet? Guardian, once the weapon was built, our race began to decay. Radiation from the weapon's power source poisoned the soil of our planet. Doctor, exactly, the weapon was only brought death. Yet he wants to spread the death throughout the galaxy. Let's destroy his weapon, so they will try to use it for evil. Master, no, you must be mad. Why, with this, we control every galaxy in the world cosmos. We could be God. Guardian, you're not fit to be a God. I sense that if you control, if you have control of this weapon, you'll bring only unhappiness and destruction to the entire universe. Master, then die. Master points his laser gun to Guardian, disappears with his, hand, with his hand. Guardian, there's a self-destructive mechanism. You will please operate it. Doctor, but only, only does prevent just to prevail on your planet, sir. But also your infinite compassion. Doctor goes to the console and touches the device. Guardian shakes his head. He touches a lever. Guardian nods. So he pulls it. The room by it shakes violently. Guardian, you must leave at once, or you will just be destroyed with the city. Master leaves. Doctor, thank you, sir. Primitive city. The primitives and the other planet aliens are staggering towards the bright control room. Doctor, come back. You'll be killed. Master, come on. Do you want to die with them? Down another passage they meet. Doctor, Joe, where are you doing here? Joe, look for you, Master. Doctor, we got to get out of here at once. The whole place is going up. You have a map. Give it to me. Master, you fend for yourself. Cadwell, give him that map. Doctor, yes, you'll think this is it. Come on, the doctor leads down and down. A small scythe passage. You gracious, the valiant group comes out one round. Opening a cliff face. It runs, cover boom, and this ball of flames comes out of the panel. Another boom, and there's a small alien side. The master takes the opportunity to get and try and get Cadwell's weapon, but fails. Morgan, get up. All you get up. Cadwell, come over here. Master, you arrive just in time. 
Put your people under arrest, Morgan. Get back to your friends. Marcy, don't stay. I'm due to defeat her. Morgan, you're an imposter. You don't need. We don't. We don't need you. Master, we've got to do something, Doctor. They're going to kill you. Well, Gadwell, Morgan, you can't kill Gadwell. Well, shut Gadwell. So you don't need you. You'll be over. We should, if you didn't need you, but you'll be over with them. Gadwell, you're insane. When you drop your guns, a group of communists on communists on the bridge, Morgan opens fire. Morgan take cover. Everyone takes cover behind large boulders. But it's lying as tragedies on both sides. Master takes charge to sneak away and drive it off in a buggy. Morgan runs out bullets and runs away. We don't surrender the rest of you. You won't be killed. The two surviving ICM men raise their hands. Joe the master. He's gone. Joe and the doctor get in the buggy and drive off. The master rides at his TARDIS. Watches them in a scanner. It starts at Matalain Monitor. Moving. Doctor, look. The rocket dematerializes. Ashes office. Doctor, now look. Stop worrying. Dead radiation. The weapon with poisonous soil. Your cover crops will grow now. Merton, yes. Let's hope you're right. Joe, you know, I don't understand why you, you weren't in the ship when it blew up, Bonton. Well, we know. You the IC, um, IC, IMC would have to get clear before he blasts off. I hid in a dome and not uh, the guard let the others out. Joe, yes, but it took off and blew off. I saw it. Uh, Dr. Ash? Uh, Bonton, he took it up alone. Joe, but you must have known, Bonton. Well, he had to be taken off. It was the only way we could get the ICMC out of the way, Doctor. Ash insisted on going on board, yes. Yes, of course. He would, of course. Call this, Doctor. Doctor, there's something here for you. End Doctor Dome entry area. Joe the TARDIS. Doctor, my dear chap, it's absolutely splendid. Where did you find it? Redden is one of the dwellings a few miles from the dome. There's a lot of stuff where the premises were stolen. Doctor, well, I can't tell you how grateful I am. Wilton, Doctor, what is it? Doctor, what is it? Well, it's a sort of ruined cheek, really. It does have a cent- great sentimental value. Will you excuse us? Wendell, well, of course. Yes, of course, Mary. The Doctor gestures to Joe, and they sneak inside the TARDIS unnoticed. Okay, well, they have got to fly from Earth. They're sending an adjudicator. Wendell, a genuine one? I hope. Okay, well, this time, yes. Wendell, what about Cadwell? You finish with uh, you finish with IC, ICMC? You never get back to Earth. You can never get back to Earth, Cadwell. I don't think I want to. Mary, you want to stay here, Cadwell? Well, if you have a place for that work money, yes. Well, then, all right. We're glad to have you. Well, not Cadwell? Well, for a start, I can help you with your power. The turn of this here materializes. Unit laboratory. Are you very dear standing while the turn this was at the start of the story? Very dear, Doctor. Come back at once. The TARDIS kindly materializes in another corner. Very dear, come on, Doctor. Joe and the doctor come out of the TARDIS. Very dear, well, that was a short trip. You never got to get that thing working properly. Oh, you're right about that report. I'm afraid I wasn't the master after all. Joe, he's talking as if we'd never been away. Doctor, as far as he, we're concerned. It's because we haven't. The TARDIS was on Earth. It's just a few seconds after it left. Don't know what you're talk, talking about. Doctor, don't try and explain it, Joe. You never understand. <laughs>